We're talking with Mustang head soccer coach Aaron Kazmarek Mallet uh, as the Mustangs uh, kind of closing in on the halfway mark of the uh, season. The Mustangs coming off a uh, split this past weekend against Minot State and Umary. And coach, uh, a tough loss on Saturday against Minot State against sure. a very good team, but yes. uh, a great job by your squad to rebound on uh, Sunday and really play some good soccer and, and put a lot of goal uh, shots on goal and, yes. and got the score a lot. Yeah, we did. You know, what was the, the key on, on Saturday, or Sunday, I'm sorry, just to, I think, impress it to bounce back after a tough loss, after uh, three straight losses, but to come back and, and to get some win it was great to get back in that win column. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, I thought that was that was great for our kids to be able to recover from, yeah, having a really tough time on Saturday and, and knowing that, you know, it doesn't really matter what you do on Saturday. It counts as one loss in the, in the loss column uh, and to come back and try and get a win on Sunday. I think the thing that I was probably the most pleased with it, it is the variety of goals that, that we got. Um, from the way that we got them in the games, it wasn't the same goal all the time. We had a long shot, we had a cross, a corner kick, um, a, a 1v1, uh, and so I thought that was great for us to be able to, to really have some variety in the ways that we can score, and also with the players that score. You know, everybody mm -hmm. that scored um, doesn't have very many goals yet in the season, and so it's great for us to add some goals from, from our midfield, and so you know, all of our starting midfielders now have a goal, mm -hmm. which is great because it makes us more dangerous and more versatile and, and kind of harder to defend when you can't just say, okay, if we shut down that one player, we, we, we should have them handled. Uh, mm -hmm. and so I think that's going to be a challenge for teams going forward when they play us. Is, is we've got a goals that can kind of come from anywhere. Yeah, what's, uh, Coach, uh, the things that have, you've seen your team improve on from uh, you know, fall from fall training to now, you know, some of the things, you've had a lot of new players, yes, but a lot of players sure. have stepped up and made some plays, and what is that the improvement that you've seen so far uh, through this uh, you know, halfway point of the regular season? Yeah, you know, I think that the biggest thing for me is, is that um, our pupils don't quite dilate as much mm -hmm. as, as they did at the start of the season. You know, uh, like I said we started from, from this year to last year, we lost a great class. You know, a lot of players that played tons of minutes had great experience. And so a lot of the kids that we had coming in this year are, are brand new starters, playing their first major minutes at the college level, and, mm -hmm. and we're getting contributions from a lot of players. But I think for the first half of the season, is our eyes kind of dilated, and we were like, Ooh, yeah. this is a college game. Uh, from that standpoint, I think we're kind of starting finally to get over that. To to know to know what we can do as a team and, and where we are at a level and being able to walk into a game and say the the it's not too big for us. The environment's not too big for us anymore. We've got this experience. We've got all the things in, in the back from the previous games that we can now use to, to make sure that we keep ourselves in a lot of games moving forward. Well, this weekend, a couple of big matches, obviously Friday uh, at Upper Iowa, and then, of course, home against Winona State. But uh, to, to get in that top half, to get to that conference tournament, uh, starts on Friday to, to pick up it a does. road wing, and those will yes. be some big points to earn against mm -hmm. a, a good Peacock squad. And, of course, for Winona sure. State, a, a perennial power as well. But mm -hmm. uh, what are the key this weekend uh, to get some points against these teams? Um, you know, I think it's, to be honest, not making critical game mistakes for us. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there have been a lot of games that we have been in this season, but we have made mistakes that, that really end up costing us goals. Uh, and so for us, it's really going to be in a situation where if other teams are going to beat us, that they actually have to go out and beat us, that mm -hmm. we are not going to necessarily beat ourselves. We're not going to give up easy opportunities for other teams to, to score, you know, and watching watching some film on, on Upper Iowa and Winona, they are very opportunistic teams. You make a mistake, they are right there to capitalize on that. You know, I think James is doing a great job in his first year with them. Uh, they said, yeah, and Winona is, you know, a perennial powerhouse and, and they've been struggling as late, but I think if anything we have seen this season is that on any given day, anybody can beat everybody. You know, once we get done with the games and I look at the scores, uh, mm -hmm. it's never what I predicted to happen. I'm always surprised by one or two games uh, on Saturday or Sunday or, or Friday. And I saw for us, it's it's being consistent and, and making sure that we take the opportunities that we have and play in a complete game. And, and if we do, we should have opportunities to win both those games. Coach, thanks for taking a few minutes and uh, best of luck this weekend. Thank you.